Hi and welcome to my channel again. This is open from mountains for everybody's sight and today I have a new pair of boots to show you. This is about Nortiv 8 Armadillo 2 hiking boots and this is my review. Uh, I have these boots and I have tested them recently. Here I am using my post to show you some pictures. This is uh, already my third pair of footwear from this brand. I have what I call uh, Armadillo 1, which is uh, the version that I still have on the market together with uh, Armadillo 2, and they sell them both at the same place on Amazon. So I will show you how to uh, know which is which. And I also have uh, their uh, shoes. These are low cut. I have a post here in the site where I have described them in detail and uh, all of them are built in the same style and uh, this is the Armadillo 1 which I mentioned just to see. So uh, they look very similar to uh, Armadillo 2 but there are Im important differences and uh, on Amazon they have pointed out upgrades as they call out uh, describe it, uh, that uh, are related to the upper uh, fabric and some changes inside, which you in principle cannot see. But uh, from outside you can clearly see a big difference regarding the material. So Nortiv 8 Armadillo 2 upper includes these overlays of suede leather and you can have a look here this is the Armadillo 1, where these uh, overlays are synthetic. So, obvious difference. In the Armadillo 2, these overlays are much stronger. And I would say even more important is actually the fabric, the layer uh, beneath this, uh, the, these overlays. So, it is much uh, stronger compared to Armadillo 1, which I show here. So you see this is Armadillo 1 with the upper, um, they look great really, uh, elegant uh, and I like this material, but uh, there is no doubt that Armadillo 2 upper is far stronger. So this is uh, definitely a fact. Now the everything else is practically the same from outside, the, the soles as you see I am showing them here before use just uh, because I wanted to that you re see uh, how great these lugs are. And uh, the, these are the, the boots uh, after I was using them for walk. And uh, I used Armadillo 1 in the mountains and uh, the, the, the sole is the same. And I, I can guarantee you that the traction is excellent. I, I was simply pleasantly surprised with the performance of, of these boots. Uh, actually, I have uh, several uh, posts where I mentioned them and you can, if you read the text about Armadillo 1, you will see the links where I uh, mentioned where I was uh, using them on Pisa Tambo and so on in, in the Italian Alps. So there is uh, really nothing to object from outside. Uh, the boots look great and uh, the soles, uh, which are uh, important part of any, any boots, are really great, great traction. You have uh, excellent uh, uh, padding in the ankle area and uh, stability is great. However, not everything is great. I was testing them regarding waterproofness. For me, this is important because when I go to the mountains and I shall take them to the mountains next summer, uh, it's important to have uh, waterproof boots. On Amazon, they provide this uh, screenshot of four hour static waterproof test and they say they passed the test. I must say, and I'm really sorry for Hogbrand, that this is an absurd uh, statement because these boots are definitely not waterproof. I tested them twice by submerging them in the water and I even made a video 
where I concluded that they were waterproof, but I was wrong. The point is the following. Uh, but to stress again, I checked the, I mean, I tested them twice, just to be sure and to be fair regarding the, the brand. So I did the, the same thing twice. And this is what I did. I simply submerged them in the water, well below the, uh, the area where the, uh, the water could, could enter uh, in the, in the tongue uh, area under the lacing. So the, the, the boots are in the water and the water can only penetrate through the fabric. They claim they are waterproof. What I was, uh, what I noticed is the following. After five minutes or so, I was uh, able to feel uh, water inside. Not much, but obviously they were leaking. Uh, but much worse, it was much worse uh, later, 15 or 20 minutes later, when I checked the boots, they were completely soaked with water. So as I write here in text, I will not be able to use them for many days because the, the padding that you have here is very thick. You have a lot of it in the collar area and uh, in the tongue area. And uh, this padding was wet even in the areas that are not in water, which means they, they absorb water like a sponge and then it penetrates slowly through the padding. So I'm really, really disappointed. Uh, not necessarily by the fact that they are not waterproof. I have had such an experience with uh, far more expensive boots from Solomon, uh, Solomon, for example, and some others. But by the fact that they claim that they are waterproof, they are definitely not. So if you need boots for wet weather, you will not uh, want these boots. But uh, if you need something for cold uh, and dry environment, they are perfect. Uh, you have great stability, you have good ankle support, and uh, there is no doubt these boots are really uh, comfortable. And they don't, uh, the breaking time is really zero. Uh, they are comfortable out of box. I know this, I tested them, and uh, I can tell you, when you start walking in these boots, it's good to have very thick uh, socks, even two pairs, and make short uh, walks around, just to be sure. But again, these uh, boots really don't need any breaking time. So, uh, regarding the size, I have uh, 42, and uh, uh, this is US number 9, and for me they are, they run wide, I would really I love to have half size smaller. Uh, but here I give a screenshot of the, the sizes that they offer right now on Amazon. Uh, and they have them in several different colors, so you can choose. And regarding the best use, again, these boots are for dry environment, perfect for cold weather. And you can use them for hiking, backpacking, hunting and in such uh, or any other uh, similar activity. Regarding the weight, I wouldn't say that they are heavy, uh, typical, not the lightest, but doesn't matter really. Uh, regarding the price, there is nothing, absolutely nothing that you can compare with these boots and uh, it's not su uh, surprising that they are so uh, popular on Amazon. I will show you this uh, screenshot here. You see how many customer uh, reviews and they are extraordinarily uh, high and uh, this is number one in men's uh, backpacking boots anyway uh, i can again i can recommend these boots if you are if you need something for dry environment but if this is about uh, wet uh, environment uh, wet conditions forget them my overall rating for these boots is high because I use the same criteria for all of them. And here in features I give 8. Uh, otherwise I, I, would, I would give 10 if they would be waterproof, but they are not. So overall rating is 
very high, but I warn you, these boots are not waterproof. Thank you for watching, and if you find this uh, presentation useful, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel.